Just to tell you a little bit about uh, the facilities here in Guatemala, we've been here for about five years, uh, but we've uh, recently expanded in about the last two years uh, from call center uh, customer care and intelligence business into F&A as well, or finance and accounting. Uh, and that's now even broadening into the full BPO scope of services, uh, which include procurement services, uh, KPO, knowledge process outsourcing, uh, and quite a few other shared services capabilities in the center. Centrally located, uh, very easy to get to for our uh, employees, a very you know, popular area of town, both in transportation routes, but uh, areas of business. Guatemala is, uh, is a very important part of Capgemini's right shore uh, methodology. So we believe in finding the right location uh, to deliver the right processes with the right talent. Look we believe there's a front office to every one of the processes. The front office component of a back office solution is a differentiator for a right shore component inside of uh, Capgemini's offering. Many people have simply the, the back office and the back office and the front office or, or what they deem as a full customer touch. We also believe that even touching our clients is a front office approach. So even when dealing with their employees, not necessarily their customers, we still need to have that full, we see value in that full um, uh, relationship building between the services that we provide and the agents that are providing that and our clients long term whenever we're in a location. We're not a go in for a year, five years. So we believe in going to a place that can scale. Uh, and that scale we see in, in Guatemala is needing uh, not only the labor pool that we have today um, and the ability of good language speaking talent, not just language speaking people, uh, but to have talent and resources. It's a very good talent pool. I, as I always say it's very energetic young, ambitious, and there's quite a lot of folks out there. Uh, education is very important um, to the younger generation. There's a, a large population of college students really looking for that career and their opportunity to grow within a business. And so we spend a lot of time at the colleges to make sure we're in sync with that population and what their needs are and make sure that they match ours for our growth. It's actually very rich here in, in Guatemala. The number of universities, all the way from a high scale, very high end talent, all the way to very base and fundamental uh, universities, putting out a, a good volume of talented resources with English speaking capabilities, including other languages as well. I mean, we even support some French out of, out of Guatemala, um, uh, and even some, some German speakers as well. So, language and talent they have the ability to keep producing that. What I find is very interesting, they are very, um, their job's very important to them. It's almost a status of who they are. And so their professionalism is very important to them. How they are in the workplace, how they are in the job they deliver is a significant part of who they are and where they fit in within their families, within their communities, within the workplace as well. It's very important for them to be good at their jobs and look for that opportunity to be the next leader, the next supervisor, the next manager within the company. Well, it's a very young environment, as you can see. Culture is all about ethics. We work uh, around the ethics of the company, offers uh, providing a really good service to, to our customers. That's one of the Capgemini's major objectives, to have a team that is uh, driven by ethics. I like the health, healthy competition among teams, so uh, that's a challenge for them every day. So we set up goals for them to comply with the uh, SLAs on a monthly basis. So that's uh, something that really motivates the team. The most exciting thing about working in Capgemini is uh, the environment. It's uh, working for a multinational company such as our client, uh, Coca-Cola Enterprises, and um, making it every single day a learning experience for my team and myself. I'm most passionate about the fact that Capgemini is big on innovation and uh, they're always uh, using, uh, trying to use the, the cutting edge technology to help them drive, drive their business. I think both from what we've seen so far, what we continue to see in our recruitment activities, and again, our partnerships with the community, we definitely see there's quite a pool of those folks that are available for us to bring in and help train and move forward. The clients, when they first hear about uh, Guatemala and they haven't been here, uh, if it is a, a foreign, uh, foreign land to them and a foreign concept, uh, they're, they're skeptical, they're cautious at first. We take them straight into our, our facilities, let them talk to the people, let them see what's done here, the talent that's there, and what comes out very quickly is the passion 
of the, uh, of the team and of the individuals around what they do, how they service a client, how they take on the client, uh, literally the, the look and feel of, of the client. You walk onto some of our floors and, and you will not believe you're in a Capgemini facility, you'll think you're in a uh, you know, major beverage uh, uh, distributor or uh, you know, one of our clients, you'll, you'll believe that they are their employees. And the passion that they see is, is, just, is just incredible. And it's literally within a 24-hour time frame, they're really you know, having a, a whole change in a, and uh, become almost full advocates at the end of that 24 hours. So very skeptical at the beginning, but I mean, as they, as they experience that through even just one day visit, uh, their, their entire impression is, is positive and I've yet to have a client that has not been an advocate by the end of their, end of their visit.